cost ten billion dollars. It's called the Large Hadron Collider. It's on the border between France and Switzerland. And the purpose of it is to try to help figure out how our universe was created. But there are all sorts of rumors that have circulated about this particle accelerated. One of them actually began last year. CNN.com writer Liz Lando joining us now to explain all this. Last year we reported on this back, I think it was September, when people were saying this particle accelerator, the world's most powerful, over in Switzerland, when they fire it up, it could create a black hole and swallow up the whole universe, so be careful. <laughs> right, and those rumors have been uh, discredited by most established scientists who have worked on the Large Hadron Collider, but it certainly brought a lot of attention to it. Yeah, it did, because they actually did fire it up and we're all still here. But the question is, let's let's go back to basics and just talk about the, the collider and specifically what it is. Exactly. So it is a 17-mile long circular tunnel in which there are six experiments set up to detect various previously unseen physical properties. So these particles that no one has ever detected before, that are smaller than anyone could imagine, could actually hold the secrets to the universe. The secrets of the universe may be revealed. A, a lot of people talk about the Higgs boson, the, the so-called God particle. Can you explain that? Sure. So the Higgs boson is this particle that no one has ever seen that essentially is the reason why things have mass. So the reason why we are here, essentially, according to this theory, is that tiny, tiny particles called Higgs bosons essentially give us mass. And yet we've never seen it. Exactly. <laughs> and um, it's one of the major holes in the standard model of physics, which sort of describes the entire uh, workings of the universe. Okay. Now, we're talking science here, physics. Uh, you know, usually it's something very concrete, numbers. But one of the things about this that's fascinating is apparently some of the scientists believe that the reason this won't work and we'll never see Higgs boson is because of something in the future. Can you explain what they're talking about? Sure. So um, a couple of physicists who are quite distinguished but still are sort of on the fringe of the thinking on this say that, in fact, the Large Hadron Collider is being sabotaged from the future, that no machine that could produce these Higgs bosons can ever function properly because something in the future is sabotaging it, essentially. Mm, interesting <laughs> theory. <laughs> and one that you couldn't really prove, right? At least not yet. Okay, so once they figure out time travel, maybe they'll get to the bottom of that. Right. Okay, that, now, I understand there was some sort of a, a bird incident last week that caused problems for this super collider. How well protected is it? And if a bird can cause it to shut down, isn't that a problem? Sure. So I've spoken to some people at CERN about this. Basically on Saturday, a bird flew over it, dropped a piece of baguette, and this caused the power shutdown. Um, it didn't cause any damage. They say they're still on schedule. And they say that since um, it, there was a major electrical problem in September of 2008. They've essentially spent the last um, year or so making sure that there's a lot of protection systems in place. So if something goes wrong, it won't impact all of the collider, and it'll be very localized damage, if at all. And they should probably put up some bird screens or something <laughs> to keep birds from dropping their food into the collider. Okay, so as I mentioned off the top, $10 billion dollars. Some people have voiced whether it's $10 billion well spent. What do the scientists say? How do they justify the time, the money, the effort in going into this? Sure. Well, basically, it's human nature to wonder where we came from and why are we here. And physicists, physicists are essentially probing the universe on this very, very minute scale. So as opposed to philosophers who think of big ideas or experts on religion who think about God as the creation of the universe, physicists are looking at the tiniest possible scale. Why are we here? And answering this question has implications for anybody just as a matter of curiosity and as a matter of human existence. So let's look at the timeline briefly then. So sometime this month, w later this month, they're going to be firing that proton beam around that 17 miles at a very high rate of speed, obviously. And that's really just kind of the beginning, because that's not really 
the, the money shot. What they really want to do is have the particles collide, right? Exactly. And um, CERN insiders say that um, hopefully by Christmas there will be some particle collisions. But even then, the Large Hadron Collider won't be up to its full energy potential. That'll be sort of a slow process into next year of actually getting it to greater powers than have ever been seen before at any collider of its kind.